Gavin Newsom still really wants to be president. He looks around at California and he says, I've done such a good job. I'd like to make this applicable to all of the United States. And now, because he wants to get into the mix of things, he is threatening Ron DeSantis with kidnapping charges over the drop-offs of migrants from Florida to what we thought was the very, very welcoming sanctuary state of California. But Newsom doesn't like that now. He's actually posted the statute, the criminal statute, up on Twitter. He said that this to Ron. He said, Ron, you small, pathetic man. This isn't Martha's Vineyard. Kidnapping charges? Question mark. He said, read the following and cited California law. He said, every person who being out of this state abducts or takes by force or fraud, any person contrary to the law of the place where that act is committed and within the limits of this state where it brings, sends, conveys that person into this state and is afterwards found within the limits thereof is guilty of kidnapping. Oh gosh, you're kidding me. You're going to charge Ron with kidnapping in California. He says, yeah, baby, I'm serious. And he has this new phrase he's using. He says, let's level set here. A governor had to send his taxpayer funded operation to another state to find people to use as pawns. He lied to them. He bust them to yet another state, flew them on a taxpayer funded charter flight and dumped them on the steps of a Catholic charity. All this for his own pathetic scheme to gain attention. We will not be backing down from holding those involved accountable. That's Gavin Newsom. So he sounds like he's a little bit angry on this thing, you know, and it's a strange take because he was previously very welcoming, but this is what he said when asked about Ron. These flights of asylum seekers that are being brought to Sacramento, there've been two of them now. They've been described as state sanctioned kidnapping by the attorney general of this state of California. You tweeted yeah. directly at the governor of Florida, Ron DeSantis. I want to get this right. You called him a small pathetic man and asked quote, kidnapping charges. Is that what you believe happened, Governor well, Newsom, that being, Florida kidnapped migrants and brought them to California? I think I'm being generous, small, and pathetic. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, very generous. He's just weakness masquerading as strength. Wow. He's flailing, desperate for attention. Let's just level set here. Let's here level See? set. Here's a governor from the state of Florida that is using taxpayer money, and he had to go to another state to find people under false pretense. I don't think this, I know this. I talked to the migrants, lied to them, took them into another state by bus, and then took them on a chartered flight to Sacramento, lying to them that they had help on the other side, knocked on the door, and they left these migrants right there on the steps. What kind of human being does that? Ron DeSantis is going to be landing in this city later this month yeah. to hold a fundraiser for his presidential campaign. Yeah. I mean, there are coyotes and there are people who drop off off migrants all the time in California. Happens all the time. It's right there at the border. Happens here in Arizona too. Happens in Texas and New Mexico. Happens all across the southern border. It happens very regularly. But he's mad at Ron DeSantis for putting these people on a private flight and science flying them over to the great sanctuary city of California. California's pretty nice weather. They've got that going for him. Should he be worried that law enforcement officials in this state are going to arrest him when he walks off the plane? I, I, now we're getting into hyperbole. I, it, what are you talking about? Hyperbole? You just called him a small little man flailing, masquerading his weakness or whatever. And now when somebody asks you about the specifics of the kidnapping charge that you posted on Twitter, specifically linking to the criminal statute, you say now it's hyperbolic? What? Bottom line is, well, just we're for accountability. I mean, I don't think it's hyperbole. You're it's the one raising the issue of criminality, <laughs> yeah. potentially. We, potentially. Yeah. Yeah. And we have to do the investigation. That, so one, it's ready, aim, fire. Not ready, fire, aim. That's his approach. Our approach is to seek first to collect all the facts. But on the basis of... Actually, ready, fire, aim is a pretty good modality. Read this in a book sometime, somewhere. I forget who wrote about it. Maybe T. Harv Ecker. But it's the idea that you take action. You don't study, 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 study all day long. And bureaucrats often get this backwards. They'd rather spend four years studying or thinking about how to create a high-speed rail, for example, and they just meander around after committee, 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 and nothing ever gets done. So now he's going to slow this process down, not because he has a clear vision for what he's doing, because he just wants to literally use hyperbole. And when he gets called out on it, then he has to dissemble and start talking about the slowness, the properness, the propriety of an investigation. The facts of evidence that were provided. And by the way, I didn't take this in the third party frame. I was there with these folks directly and listened to how they, I mean, human beings yeah. used as pawns for a guy's political. Your entire party does that with most of your constituency. 
advancement. That's pretty sad and pathetic. And, uh, and so I, I take this very seriously. And I, as I said, we are not Martha's Vineyard. I love Martha's Vineyard. We're not Martha. This is California, fourth or fifth largest economy on planet Earth. We mean business. And so Ron DeSantis should know that. And everyone that's been part of this, they may have more direct accountability and culpability, should know we mean business and we're not backing away. So are you going to charge him then or what? Uh, from getting the facts and holding those accountable if they broke the laws of the state of California. So that is good old Gavin Newsom. And people are wondering about this clip. You know, now he's very outraged about, I guess, people being lied to. He wants people to come to the great state of California. People are leaving California in droves. Have you seen the U-Haul numbers? You can get a U-Haul into California for basically free, but if you need a U-Haul out of California, it's a lot of money because there aren't any, because everybody's fleeing. So as we know, Gavin Newsom wants migrants in his state. He said, this is the greatest place for them to be. That's why sanctuary policy is so foundational and so important. I wouldn't rather be from any other place than the state of California. There you go proudly a sanctuary state. Hey. So that's why people might have an inkling that they should go there and be sent there. California Governor Gavin Newsom is accusing the DeSantis administration of committing crimes by sending migrants from Florida to California. Kidnapping charges? Is that is that what you believe happened, Governor well, Newsom, that being... Florida kidnapped migrants and brought them to California? Yeah, I think I'm being generous. I think I'm being generous. Uh, very generous. So that is uh, a fun clip about Gavin Newsom and sanctuary cities. And he wanted them at one point, but now he wants to get into the presidential race. And so he thinks he can go out and throw some elbows at Ron DeSantis and cause some media ascendancy for his name. But he even got called out there by that journalist. He's well, what do you mean specifically? Like, are you going to charge him or what's going on here? Hey, 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 it's a very important investigation. We'll get to the bottom of, uh, of it eventually. But that is Newsom kind of doing the child thing that, you know, you would come to expect out of California. But we'll see what Ron's team says. There is already some story back from the AP saying they're challenging and contesting that, saying that they are disputing any claims of coercion. Ron DeSantis' administration said that the three dozen migrants who flew from the state on private planes all went willingly, disputing allegations by California that they were coerced to travel there. The admission of responsibility, they say, five days after the first First flight touchdown heightened tensions between DeSantis and Newsom. Planes arrived from Sacramento on Friday and Monday, each carrying asylum seekers from Colombia, Venezuela. Individuals got picked up in El Paso, taken to New Mexico, put on flights to California's capital of Sacramento, and the Attorney General is investigating whether any crimes or violations of civil law occurred. But Florida says, no, through verbal and written consent, these volunteers indicated they wanted to go to California. She also shared a video showing people signing consent forms and thanking them for treating them so well. Yeah, California's great. Where are we going? Just don't send us to San Francisco, all right? The clips had no timestamps, and Collins declined to share additional details. Bonta told CNN late Tuesday he'd be requesting floor to turn over any video footage. That's the AG. This isn't the first time they've done this. Previously sent 49 Venezuelans to Martha's Vineyard. Not clear what else is going to be happening. DeSantis signed a law providing 12 million bucks to his relocation bid. Newsom, a Democrat, indicated he might consider kidnapping charges. But then when asked about the details, he scurried away like a little weenie. So this is what Gavin Newsom is doing. Ron DeSantis, I'm sure will continue to respond. We'll see if he drops off some more migrants over there. And we, of course, will continue to cover.